Also first at four, a somber farewell to a fallen hero. Oakland County Sheriff's Deputy Eric Overall was laid to rest today. Hundreds of law enforcement members, friends and family attended the funeral at Mount Zion Church in Independence Township. Overall was killed while on duty Thanksgiving morning while assisting with a chase that ran through two counties. Today, family members, including Overall's wife and son, spoke and shared stories. My husband was a remarkable man who wore his heart on his sleeve and gave endlessly. He was a man of integrity. Not only was he a wonderful husband, he was a wonderful father, friend, and colleague. Overall was recently married and is survived by an adult son. The 22-year-old suspect in his death has been arraigned on charges of first-degree homicide and murder of a peace officer. A surprising twist today in a sexual assault case involving a 31-year-old woman in Highland Park. The charges against 22-year-old Aaron Stewart and 19-year-old Quentin Flemons had been dismissed. At today's preliminary hearing, prosecutors said they could not move forward but did not elaborate on why they made that decision. The two men are still accused of attacking women who were riding bicycles in Hamtramck and Detroit. We're going to take a closer look at this case and where things stand tonight at 5. Michigan's Lieutenant Governor Brian Kelly says he is running for the state's top job next year. Kelly says he is the best candidate for governor because he can build on the accomplishments of the Snyder administration. You know, when we first started, our problem was lack of jobs. But now, seven years and 500,000 new jobs later, talk to big businesses, little businesses, middle-sized businesses, they all say the same thing. We cannot find enough people to fill all these jobs that we're creating. Kelly is joining a crowded field. So far, two other Republicans and three Democrats are announcing their candidacy for governor as well. There is some new trouble today from Democratic Congressman John Conyers as another woman is going public with claims of sexual harassment. Today, she spoke with Local 4's Rod Maloney, who's working on that story right now. The federal courthouse in downtown Detroit is where Congressman John Conyers maintains an office. And for about eight years in the late 90s and early 2000s, a woman by the name of Deanna Maher worked on John Conyers' staff. And she has now become the second accuser, claiming that John Conyers sexually harassed her. Today, we spoke with her by phone. He was feeling, feeling me on, you know, on, my, on my lap and my neck and all of this and driving erratically, okay? Okay, then he gave me the, the keys to his car, wanting me to be in his house. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what he, what he was up to. She said that incident happened on the way to the airport. Now, she had much more to say. We're going to hear from her on Local 4 News at 5 o'clock and yet again at 6. In downtown Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4.